The balls were found in bogs. They were all found when people hand cut a turf. We weren't really sure how old they were. And as a result, we got them radiocarbon dated, found out some of them were 800 years old. So it's fascinating. We've always known that hurling was a, an ancient game. We've known that Cú Cullen played hurling, Satanta, like we've known, we've known the legends. But the thing is now, we actually have the evidence. These objects are the evidence of our hurling heritage. Interesting enough, they found in areas not uh, noted for a uh, strong hurling tradition now, North Kerry and uh, West um, Limerick. Uh, but it shows that throughout the period, they're the same type are being produced across the country over a long period of time. So they're made of um, uh, cow hair core and then horse hair, plaited horse hair uh, uh, outside covering. Well, I'm delighted this exhibition has come to light, that these artefacts have seen the light of day after so many years hidden. Um, it gives a context for hurling. We all know that hurling is thousands of year, years old. We all know that those of us who play hurling <coughs> are called by something deep in our psyche. And I think we have physical evidence now that these balls were found, some in the 1100s, and it gives a context for hurling, really. The evolution of the hurling ball sort of has gone hand in hand with the evolution of hurling and it's significant that at a time when hurling is at probably its greatest height that we have this exhibition. We spent a lot of money here in the last couple of years to bring the museum. We've got great numbers coming in now so it's lovely to have something new when people come in as well. You know it gives people a reason to come back in here on match day. If you were here last year well there's something new this year to come in and have a look.